Hey, what's up everybody? This is Hunter Holly Gaming. I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to create your redstone um, automatic door. This one is going to be made with a little bit different of a design. That way it can be used with a button. So everything that you're going to need is down here in the hotbar. We've got some redstone dust. We've got redstone repeaters, parators, torches. We'll need droppers, hoppers, sticky pistons, blocks of your choice, and a button. So to show you how this works. So we have our door over here, and it is hooked up with all of our redstone going into this torch, which is activating the door. That is why it's expanded and shut right now. Redstone coming across the top, and then this is our signal from what we call a T flip-flop. So what this does is it has a piece of redstone inside of the mechanism right now, and it sends a signal out through the comparator. So if we press the button, it sends a red redstone signal in, and it keeps the button signal active going through this by transferring that piece of redstone through it. it keeps this active so it remains open on the other side. Press it again, and then it closes it. So I'll show you how to create this really quick. What we'll want to do is have a couple of our sticky pistons like so. Wool we'll blocks, a two block space, two more wool blocks, our other sticky pistons. A redstone to the back of the block, surrounded by two of the blocks of your choice, with redstone coming off the back. Same over on the side. And then we'll just bring those together here at the front. Now we need to turn on this circuit. So we want to place a block, our redstone torch, and this activates our doors. Off the top of this, we want to bring redstone. And then facing our door, we want to put down a repeater and then a comparator. Next, we want to put down a dropper with the mouth facing backwards away from our door. Stand on top of this one. You can put one where it's pointed up. And then on this side, what we'll hold shift and crouch and then place another dropper facing forward like so we'll then grab our hopper come to this one crouch again and then place it we want to make sure that this hopper is pointed straight down into this one otherwise it will not work we want to go ahead and open the hopper place in a piece of redstone and you'll see how it disappears like that and then what it should do is because we have that redstone in there it activated the signal and opened our doors effectively turning this torch off so now if we come back here Put a comparator or a repeater at the back of it, a piece of redstone, and then our button. Now, when we press our button, it will open and close our door. And then, what we can do from here so, if we want another button on the other side, what we do is put down a comparator or a repeater, bring our redstone, say, all the way back over to this other side. And every so often, you will have to put a repeater that way the redstone signal is strong enough to make it all back over there so say that you're inside the base here have our button it only reaches to about here so we'll go ahead and put repeater down and sake, i'll put another one down over here so once we're back inside of our base over here press the button and see that we can close it from the inside and the outside thus making it a two-way switch, because if I do it from this side, I can come all the way over to this side, and then still open it from this side. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all later.